Shalom, shalom, you guys. Welcome back to the channel. I am Jonathan, and this is the Code Searcher. Um, I got an update from the last video that, that I put out on the Lahaina Five. Worked that code now for over a month, and I don't think I don't think you're going to want to miss this. You're you're probably going to want to see what I found, and uh, yeah, let's get right into that. So let me get it set up for you. So you can see what I'm talking about. If you haven't seen this code already, I would encourage you to look at the other video that I've done on this. So you, you're you up to date. So, of course, we're talking about the Lahaina fire, you guys. And as you can see, if you saw the last one, there's quite, a, quite more there. Um especially the, the extension on top of um, Lahaina fire. Lahaina, uh, the fire of Lahaina is running straight down in the blue, and then sitting on top of that running straight up is an amazing anomaly that's sitting there with another amazing anomaly in the green that crosses right over that. So let's get right into it, you guys, um, and, and go from there. So just to recap some of the other terms in the last... Um, presentation I did to the far left many will die or many have died in the vertical or uh, you can see my, my pointer there in the red many have died um, how about the FEMA the, the chief the, the guy from uh, FEMA and Daya his name is right here in the red and Daya Really interesting because the mayor's name is right next to that. Bison, right here in the purple. Then, of course, we had um, going up in, in these letters right here, the, the, the black and green right here. And then also at the bottom right here, it's the very same word. It means to destroy, but not just destroy. It means destroy by fire. So that's there. And snuggling, snuggling up to that uh, in the blue and red here, the light blue and red is electrical. Electrical's there. Maui, starting with this red mem here, running across the term in the blue and stopping at this yode here is Maui. That's Maui. Now the now the red and black term. That's stretching across all the way, connecting with the mem in Maui, and also connecting with this word here, also, which means the missing, and then ending all the way over. Oh, I'm going to have to move my picture. Uh, give me a second, you guys. I want to make sure you can see this. To do it on this one too i'm on two computers hang tight there we go everything's out of the way now you can see the whole thing all right so that last letter though is right here in the black and red so crossing over six letters in the black and red is roadblock they were roadblock um and right above that um that black and red letter there we've got um ish which means um and the fire in the yellow here we have a war and this is war by the way this is warfare you guys and the sea coming together all right follow me here we go with the the uh, a term that goes across in the light blue it shall burn it shall burn right next to that. We've got a, a abacus effect right here, which is island people, island people. Now, now look at this cluster right here, in particular, the the, the column right above behind a fire, which means um, and we saw. And we saw what? What did we see? We saw the cover up in the green, the cover up. Uh, we also have uh, a word here for they were trapped. They were trapped 
also in the um, orange here, and I know you, you probably can't make that out real well. Um, that's DNA. That's DNA right there. The date, the current year is also here in the blue, 2023. All right. And we have departures, departures or people leaving right there in the plain text. Um, we saw we also have the word war again connecting with arson in the orange in I think that's a green letter in there. That's arson. Uh, the wind in the white. The wind. And Hawaii in the yellow. Hawaii. All this is clustering in a, in a very small area in this cylinder width of 5886. Very small area. Okay, you guys, so keep that in mind. We also have in, uh, in the plain text, exiles right there and then right under that we've got the day of the fire exiles the day of the fire in the plain text we're going to scroll scroll down a little bit because there's more and we're going to cover all the ELS terms before I go and read any of the, uh, the scriptures that I've got highlighted there all right, so in the white, there was no water. Ein mean. Ein mean. And the white in red letters, there was no water. And then we've got in the blue and red right here, firestorm. And then uh, these six letters are, they went into the sea. Firestorm and they went into the sea. And let's see here. That's all the ELS terms I got on it. So now let's look at some of the some of the plain text and what it reads. So hang tight, you guys. We're just going to go through this systematically the best I can. Uh, starting, starting right here. And it's been a while, you guys, since I've looked at this um, at, as far as the um, the verses here. So bear with me. 25.9. Uh, also, uh, on the seventh day of the month, that was the day before um, this fire actually happened. So. If you guys recall, I was, it was the eighth that I was told my father, um, my father passed away was right, right at that time, eight, the eighth, when this started. And um, yeah. And so in, in verse nine, it says, and he burned the houses of you and the king's house and all the houses of Jerusalem and every great man's house burned with fire. Now, like I, I, I told you before that when we're looking at a code, there are two things. You've got the plain text and what the context of the, of the plain text is normally and, and as far as the, the actual chapter in the verse and the context there. In this case, we're, all the houses of Jerusalem. But, but the fact that we're looking at a code where all this other information is hidden in plain sight there, you could you could basically flip Jerusalem for Lahaina is basically what, what you can do. And, and he burned all the houses of uh, of Yahuwah, which would be the churches, and the king's house, which would have been where the banyans, uh, banyans are, where the banyan tree is. That that was the king's house, literally the king's house, and all the houses of Lahaina, even every great man's house, he burnt with fire. So that's really interesting. That's right there in, in the plain text of the scriptures. Let's drop down one more line to what we have here in the red and look at that one. And um, I want to just make sure I didn't, I didn't miss anything.
and the residue of the people that were left in the city and all that 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 of those that fell away that fell to the king of babylon all right um we, we could basically be talking about dead bodies here on that so let's look at the um the red verse now which is chapter 5 verse 8 of isaiah Woe, yeah, woe to them that join house to house and lay field to field till there be no place that they, till there be no place that they may, that they may be placed alone in the midst of the earth. And then a little further down, it says, of a truth, many houses shall be desolate, even great and fair without inhabitant. All right. Let's go down, down one line here. This was really interesting here. This wasn't in the last video, but I did find it this past month, which is also Isaiah 17th chapter, starting at verse 1. Really interesting. The burden of Lahaina. Behold, Lahaina is taken away from being a city. It shall be a ruinous heap. Now again, of course, the context of the verse is Damascus. But when we were looking at this in the code, you basically can flip that to the town that we're talking about. Because the key words here is it, it shall be a ruinous heap. That's right by the base right by the base of the of the access term line of fire it shall be a root ruin is he is it not so is not not what happened yes it did so let's go down a little bit further and i'll show you some more we got here which is in jeremiah the ninth chapter and let's start with uh, 18. For voice of wailing is heard out of Lahaina. How we are spoiled. We are greatly confounded because we have forsaken the land. Because our dwellings have cast us out. Hear ye the word of Yahuwah, O ye women, and let your ear receive the word of his mouth. And teach your daughters wailing and every one her neighbor. Lamentation for death has come up to our windows and has entered into the palaces to cut off the children from without and the young men from the streets. Thus saith Yahuwah, even the carcasses of men shall fall as dung upon the open field. That's that's. That's a code, you guys. And uh, what else did I have highlighted down here? Down near. Uh, oh, let's look at this one. Which is a fragment of Amos chapter one, verse four. And this is what it says there. Follow along in the English up here. You can see right here. Chapter one, verse four. It's a partial. And uh, this is what it says. This is in Amos. But I will send fire into the house. which shall devour the places. Still talking about Damascus here, right? But in this code, we're talking about Lahaina. I will send fire on the wall, which shall devour the places thereof. And I will cut off the inhabitant from. Hmm. And um, that's that's what I got on this, you guys. I apologize for the length of time it took me to get this out, you guys. I've been very busy this month. Um, a lot going on. You know, my dad passed away. So I've spent the month grieving that. Um, also dodging bullets. 
<laughs> you know, it, if this thing I've been living the past 18 months has not gone away. Um, like I told you that, you know, certain someone tried to have me arrested at my dad's funeral. So I've got to deal with that. Um, and by the way, that will be in the next video, the very next video that I put out, which will probably be, be my last video for a while, you guys, because I do have to handle this. I've got to take care of business. OK, uh, but make sure you watch that because a lot's going to be revealed in that. Make sure you watch it. Tell all your friends. So that's what I got for you guys on the Lahaina fire. We all saw the cover up. 2023. Is it a land grab? Um, you know, uh, it's quite possible. I can't spread misinformation. I can't go beyond the boundaries of facts and what I can find in these codes, you guys, to, to not be uh, sanctioned by YouTube. I have to be really careful, but, you know, do your own due diligence. Um, read between the lies there. Things have happened. There's a reason why this happened. I can't show you everything here because they will sanction me, but figure it out. Please share this video. Don't let them get away with it. Much love to, to Maui and all of Hawaii, which has been my home. Um, I'm sorry that this is happening. This is this is tragic. Somebody needs to do something. Where are these children? Where are the children? Shalom, you guys. We'll see you in the next video. Mm-hmm. <laughs>